What is happening my friend? It is Friday. Is it? Yeah it is. <laughs> Welcome to today's episode of The Drive. The Drive. What is happening my friend? How are you doing? Dean here of course. Rounding up the week. It's Friday. Yeah, I'm clear on it being Friday now. <laughs> um, the days go so fast, right? The days turn into weeks, the weeks turn into months, and oh my gosh. Um, so this week, it's been, a, uh, it's been a strange week. Productive, but strange. And I, what I mean by that is like, I've kind of, uh, I've kind of done like a, um, I invested in a new program this week to really laser in and focus on mastery in one particular area of my business. And and you know one of the one of the overwhelming things that that, that already you know I spent I, was, I spent about six thousand dollars on this thing, and like I've already got my value, even though I've not really done too much with it yet. Literally, there is probably I don't know ten plus hours of training. But here's, here's an interesting thing, right? You know, for a long time, I used to equate value to receivables, meaning like, you look at it and you think like, okay, I've, you know, how many hours of video is there? You know, how many videos are there? You know, all this kind of stuff, like the actual like deliverable, like what did I get? What did I pay versus what did I get? You know, now I have this very different view and it's so like, I'm actually proud of myself for doing this because it's a game changer. But instead of the deliverables being the thing that I look at, like what did I pay versus the deliverable I received? Quantity of videos, length of videos, you know, all that kind of stuff. Now I'm like, what do I get out of the thing that I purchased? Like, what did I put in versus what did I get out of it? And, and in a good example would be literally within the first there was, there was like two slides of content in one of these videos that made, made got me my $6,000 worth. And you think, like a lot of people would be like, oh no, 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 there's no way, like two sentences is worth $6,000. For me it was. And it's, it's an interesting new way of approaching things. Um, so yeah, so that, that was a big thing. And I, you know, instead of, Instead of telling you today, like, every nitty-gritty thing that I've done, I want to instead tell you, like, the big takeaway from everything that I've done this week. Um, because here's the thing, I've spent a lot of time analysing, well, not a lot of time, but a good amount of time, really start, really looking at companies that have done big things. I'm, I'm not talking about, like, like, to me, to me, like, having a million-dollar business isn't, it is, it is a huge achievement, make no mistake, it's, it's, a, it's a big achievement, it's a, something that is life-changing, right? But, you know, to me, I've, I've moved my goalposts, I've expanded my vision, and I, I'm seeing much bigger things. Like, so, you know, we made millions of dollars in online sales, right? Many, many millions of dollars. And to me, I, I still feel like I'm just getting started now, like, I, I feel like small fry millions of dollars isn't you know is that 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 phrase in uh in uh what is it social network you know a million a million isn't cool do you know what's cool a billion and i've like really broadened my horizons as to what's truly possible and so i've been looking at companies that are you know 50 to 100 million dollar companies and beyond and seeing like what do they do how do they operate and, and an overwhelming big thing keeps shining through is that they're very clear on what they're doing and they're very focused on very few key things. Like, I don't know, take, who might I take? Um, I don't know, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna name names here, but like they know what they're selling and they have their strategy clearly defined and they're relentless on selling that thing like relentlessly focused on selling that thing. You know, one of the mistakes I've made in the past is to think like, okay, so this many products, having this many products and this many offers 
made me X amount. Like having this many offers made me a million dollars, for example. Like, so if I have twice as many offers, I can make $2 million easier. If I have 10 times as many offers, I can make $10 million. And it's actually not that way, you know, and it took me a bit of a while to realize this, and it's just been getting clearer and clearer and clearer to me, to the point where now I see that it's not about having dozens and dozens and dozens of offers, right? It's about having core offers, a few core offers and a strategy clearly defined to sell them and yeah this can be made up of having like several you know a few different sales funnels that sell that thing for example i i heavily in my business you know strongly wholeheartedly have utter belief and faith in using a free plus shipping style funnel to acquire customers to acquire to convert prospects into buyers to turn cold visitors strangers into customers that leads them to the core offerings I think there's nothing as effective as a free plus shipping offer for that. Um, and then it's like the next thing, you know, what's the next thing? What's the core offering? It might be $2,000, it might be $1,000, it might be $2,000, $3,000, $5,000. $5, then from there, what's the next core offering? And you know, it's not about needing to have, you know, 30 different products, 50 different products to be able to generate the money. It's about having a few core offerings and a process to sell them and you know the more I analyze you know highly successful businesses the more I realize that that's what they've got they haven't got anything that you or I can't have what they have is a relentless focus on key areas and they execute religiously and relentlessly every single day so yeah an interesting interesting find and just something that I wanted to share in my recap of the week because I think if any of us, if, if anyone anyone takes that and, and, and realizes that and applies that, no matter where you're at in your business, if you're just starting out, you're promoting other people's products, you know, you need to have a relentless focus on getting traffic, ca capturing that traffic onto your list and following up with them to send them to a sales process. That needs to be your relentless execution every day. How am I getting new traffic and new leads? That needs to be your focus. Then, you know, a different stage of your business. It might be, how am I getting new traffic, new customers, and, and applications, for example. You know, it might be, how am I getting new members in my membership? You know, whatever that thing might be, you've got to have that relentless focus and drive every day and not be distracted by what she's doing, he's doing, they're doing. Keep in your lane, keep tunnel vision almost, like laser focused in, dialed in to your lane and where you are and not worry about what anyone else is doing. Stay in your lane, keep fixated on the plan and implement ruthlessly every single day. You do that, no matter where you're at, you're gonna get progress. You are going to succeed, you, you cannot fail. So anyway, I will leave you with that. Have a great weekend, my friend. Thank you for watching me on this drive all week. Of course, hit that subscribe button if you join us on YouTube and I'll be back after the weekend on Monday. My fiance is away on her Hindu, a bachelorette, um, this weekend. She goes today and returns on Sunday. So uh, tomorrow I'm seeing my mom. We're going to the movies. And uh, yeah, that's it. So with that said, have a great weekend. Take care. I'll see you on the other side. Bye.